we allow the agents and the property managers to customize a page in the magazine. Usually they put in their listings or solds or rented, as the case may be. Um, and we have live links throughout the magazine to lead readers back to the property manager. Welcome to the Property Management Brainstorm Show with Bob Preston. Bob is the CEO, owner, and broker of North County Property Group, the fastest growing and top-ranked property management company in San Diego County, California. This podcast is for property managers and real estate investors who want to stay on top of leading trends in managing their property assets. You'll hear from leading professionals on the best practices for growing your property management business, successfully renting your properties, and how to make sure your properties are managed correctly. Now, here is your host, Bob Preston. Hello, and welcome to all you brainstormers who are listening in today. This is Bob Preston, your host of the show, broadcasting from our studio at North County Property Group in Del Mar, California. If you're new here, please subscribe so you have ongoing access to all of our great episodes. And if you like what you hear, please pay it forward with a positive review. In today's property management industry, standing out in the crowd to grow your property management company and demonstrate your relevance is critical. There are innovative property managers out there all over the country that are snagging the tech-savvy single-family homeowners with dazzling digital marketing. So what about you? In the online era, having a digital marketing strategy has become an absolute necessity, not something that's a nice to have. Joining me as a guest on the show today is Nikki Callahan, the founder of Nest Publications. Nest Publications is a digital marketing group that is helping real estate agents and property managers stay relevant to their clients with online marketing designed to drive business leads and their revenue. Nikki, welcome to Property Management Brainstorm. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. It's fun always to do these kind of things and meet new people. And for starters, Nikki, it would be great if you can just introduce yourself, tell us what you do at the company and what Nest Publications is all about. Sure, sure. So my name is Nikki Callahan and I'm the founder of Nest Publications um, and I'm a property manager myself. Um, Nest Publications has been in business for about just a little over six years and it offers a digital magazine for real estate agents and property managers. Um, I started doing this magazine for myself when I was in sales. I looked everywhere for a digital product that I wanted to use to represent myself for marketing, something that was stylish and that I would feel proud to disperse, and I couldn't find anything anywhere. So I started doing this magazine for myself, and then other sales agents started seeing it and asking me if I could do one for them. And so I did. And then when I moved over to property management, the same sort of thing happened. I, I just took my, my marketing tool, which was my main marketing tool, and um, did it for property management instead. And then property managers started seeing it and asking me if I could do one for them as well. Um, we have right now, we are in eight different states. And I hope to go national within the next year. Before, we didn't have the backend systems all set up, but now we do graphic designers, writers, all of that. So so we're ready to expand. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so let's focus on this concept of the digital magazine then, because I think that might require some extra attention. What exactly is that? That seems to be kind of the focus of your offering. Sure, sure. So um, there's there's two ways that we differentiate ourselves from other Uh, digital marketing tools. It's digital, so it's green. It's all online. It's not paper. Um, One is that we allow the agents and the property managers to customize a page in the magazine. Usually they put in their listings or solds or rented, as the case may be. Um, And we have live links throughout the magazine to lead readers back to the property manager. That's really the end goal is just to to do that touch and get them back to the property manager. Um, We link social sites, email, website. uh, And then the other way that we differentiate ourselves from other digital marketing tools out there is that we are community specific. So in every issue, for property managers, we do one issue a month. And in every issue, we have something that's community-based, an article maybe about farmer's markets in the area or... um, happenings for the summer. We, we usually, not last summer, but um, summers before we've done summer bucket lists and fun things to do in the sure. area. So those are the main areas that we differentiate ourselves. Okay. So what are the states you're in? You mentioned you're in eight states. 
we're in eight states. We're in California. We are in Washington, primarily in Washington, which is where I'm based. We're in Texas. We're in Florida. We're in Virginia, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and Montana. Okay, cool. So I'm in the state of California. I'm in Del Mar, to be specific. Okay. So if I were to subscribe or be one of your partners, then it sounds like there's kind of blanket content that each property manager or each real estate agent gets. And then there's a certain level of customization. Some of that might be specific to the Del Mar or San Diego market. Is it, am I getting that right? That is exactly correct. Yep. The, the uh, title of the magazine also um, alternates between areas. So uh, in Seattle, we have two very different areas, although it is all King County, but we have Seattle sort of proper. And then we have the east side and it's very, very different. Seattle is more liberal than um, like Bellevue and Kirkland, which is the east side. So we would title one magazine, Seattle Maison. And then the other magazine, Eastside Maison, gotcha. for those agents over there. Terrific. So the focus seems to be on kind of two aspects, right, that I'm getting. One is about the brand, the brand of the particular maybe agent or property management company. And of course, the other is content. That is correct. So um, we custom brand each publication in three different areas to the agent. So the inside front cover, there's a a note that's written. It's written in the voice of the agent or property manager. So it makes it very personal. Um, and then in the middle of the magazine with the aforementioned uh, custom agent page, which the property manager can insert with anything they want. It, and it could be a season greeting. It could be a short blurb about market happenings. It doesn't have to be properties that that they have. Um, and then the third area that the agent is branded in is the back cover. And that's sort of a business card. Um, agent contact, photo, social media links, logos are, are all displayed and linked throughout the magazine. Um, the content is a, it's the decor, lifestyle, real estate based, um, rental articles for property managers, such as getting your deposit back or holiday decor. Um, and then of course, a community specific aspect that I mentioned as well. Okay. And who writes the content? I mean, do you have a team of writers? I do. Yep. Um, for the first four years, I wrote almost all of it myself. <laughs> it got to be a lot. Wow. So uh, we do have um, writers now that write the articles. For the community-specific articles, we have community-specific writers. In Seattle, we have a writer from the Seattle Times, and then we also have a writer from um, Seattle Magazine. In Houston, we have a writer from Houstonia Magazine. We really like to use local writers to write the local content. They just give it an insight and a flavor that somebody in Washington couldn't provide for the Texas area. And do your property managers or your agents get to proof it or take a look before it goes out or how does that work? They don't because we have, you know, we represent 600 agents. Um, that would be a lot. And then somebody wants their logo moved up two centimeters and, and we just don't have the bandwidth to do that. It's pretty much manual. N none of this is, is automated except for how we send it out. Okay. And how is the magazine delivered then? And how often does it go? You said monthly, is there a specific time of the month it goes and how, I guess, how does it go out? Sure. So we are in a partnership with Constant Contact. So what would happen is the property manager or, or the sales agent would open an account with Constant Contact. They would input all of their database. And then we have a managerial authority and we can go in and uh, work the template put everything in that we need to, put the link to the magazine and a photo of the magazine cover, and then send it out to their audience that way. And it, and it works great in two ways. One, that the property manager doesn't have to keep updating us with um, omissions and additions to their database, which takes sure. manpower, of course. And then another is that they can they can add and delete as they want, and they can also see the analytics. So they can see how many clicks, how many opens for each mailing. And that's been really, really beneficial. Uh, they can also use it, how, how I use it, is a, a multi-prong approach to marketing. So say the magazine goes out, usually it goes out the first week of the month, then they can see how many people open it, who click on it, and they can customize segments of their database. And they can also set up automization so that uh, maybe they want to do a, a drip campaign for their most active or their least active, and they can tailor content to, to that segment. Okay. So they could use the same constant contact database to do other things than maybe a company newsletter or something like that. Wow. That's very cool. Yep. And then they can see who maybe their most active participants are. Now, does the magazine go to existing clients or to lead like a lead network? 
it really depends on what the property manager wants to do or, or, okay. or the agent wants to do. How I do it is I, I have, um, I, I send it to leads. So I send it to people that have inquired about property management. I, I mm-hmm. get their name and then I keep updating them until they, you know, say stop or, or they eventually decide to use me as a property manager. Yeah, until they sign on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also uh, send it to sales agents. In our office, we don't do sales. We don't have the correct um, insurance errors and omissions to do sales. We only do property management. Most of my business comes from referrals. So what I'll do is I'll use my agent page to highlight the agent that gave me a referral. My database, because I've been building it for quite some time, is 27,000. So wow. I'll put the agent in there. I'll, I'll do a blurb about them, link to their social media. So it's extra marketing for them to 27,000. Thousand and, and these are all renters in, in that database, the 27,000. Um, so I'll send it to the renters and then the leads. And then I'll also send it to sales agents as well. And I'm pretty picky about what I put on my agent page. Um, even though it is extra marketing for properties, I I really am wanting to and, and have had moderate success in tailoring my business to higher end properties. So I'll only feature those. Sure. Very interesting. And then can it be pushed out other ways, for example, in social media or any other means, maybe feature it on the company's website? I'm just thinking out loud here. It absolutely can. We have an agent in Houston and she extracts some of the articles. She puts them on her blog and then she also puts the entire magazine on her blog as well and posts it to all of her social media and any property manager or agent can do that. We don't do that, but we give you the content in which to do that. And really, if you if you dissect the publication that way, you can probably get eight different posts a month from that one magazine. Yeah. If you take the content, maybe repurpose it a little bit. Exactly. All right. So being, um, being digital, is it all about written text and images? Could you put video into it? Video is not included it's something that we want to incorporate in the near future, but we haven't done that yet. But the property manager or the agent can absolutely do that. And uh, we do have an agent in Seattle that does a sort of uh, cooking show. So she has a beautiful home in, in a, an affluent area, and she knows a lot of celeb chefs for some reason. I'm not sure why, but she asked them to come over and uh, she hires a videographer and they do a whole segment and she usually cooks seasonal food, hamburgers in the summer. And the whole premise of, of this kind of shtick really is let me help you find you a home so you can cook with your friends and family. So yeah. she does about three minute videos. It's beautiful lighting. It's great music, the whole thing. She puts that on her website and then she sends us the link and we do a thumbnail and insert it in her magazine for her. So if property managers do a video of one of their listings, or even if they just want to tape themselves talking about market stats or market trends, we can absolutely insert that for them. So if I'm then maybe meeting with a new client, Mm -hmm. right? If I'm out doing a pitch for a new prospective property management client, how would I show this as a demo to kind of say, hey, if you sign with us, you get this bonus. We have this publication that goes out. Let me show it to you. How would that be done? You could absolutely take an iPad and show them in real time, thumb through the magazine, show how the interactive links work, how it all comes back to you, how you market the properties on your agent page. What I also do is I send something beforehand. I, I designed a very, very simple PDF and Um, in that PDF is a marketing page and I link to the magazine and I talk about the magazine. So I kind of send that beforehand. So they, they know this extra marketing tool that I do that really very, very, very few property managers have. That kind of sets me apart from all of the competition that advertises in the same areas, truly a Zillow Craigslist website. Um, That's absolutely how you could do it. Interesting. Yeah. I remember in the old, in the old days you used to, you know, pick these magazines up outside the grocery store and stuff like that. Right. And today, I mean, it's become so much more sophisticated. It almost seems like it's a must have, right. I mean, to be digital savvy, I mean, you've got to do it, right. I I think so. And by showing it, I'm kind of showing and not telling, you know, I don't have to toot my own horn and say, look how savvy I am. I just say, this is another tool that I use that not very many people do. And it's getting a, a great response and it does help properties rent faster. And it does help me build my brand and my following. I'm imagining that if I'm on the side of maybe being a prospect of yours as a property management client, you know, I would get these on a regular basis and maybe I would look at them, maybe I wouldn't, but it's just, 
you know, that mind share, right? Getting FaceTime with that particular prospect over and over and over again consistently. Absolutely. It's all about the touches. So when we send it out uh, on behalf of the property managers or the agents, we can, of course, see who opens and clicks it. And the clicks are, are less than the opens, but the template that we send out has the agent's photo. It has all of their live links to their contact. So even if they don't go through the magazine, our our goal is achieved just by that person is looking at the agent's face. Okay. I'd like to understand more about your pricing structure. And I also understand that you have a special program with NARPA. Is that correct? Yep. So tell us about that. Sure. So uh, the, the property manager's Publications are sent out once a month, usually in the first week of the month. The price is $1,800, and that's for the entire year, and NARPM gets a $200 discount. Okay. Now, we don't ever want price to be a barrier to entry, so we do have a monthly option as well. It's a little higher priced. Um, it's $225 per month, but then you can spread out the payments. Okay, so if someone wanted to try it, that, that might be a way to do it? They could. We we ask for a one year commitment just because there's a lot of work up front in in onboarding with logos and photos and social media links and all of that. Of course, I, I can imagine. Okay, and then you mentioned that they can track some of the metrics and analytics through constant contact. How else would a property management company decide? Hey, this is really great. This is you know bringing in X number of clients a month or helping me rent properties faster. How would they track that? I'm a big believer in, you know, marketing spend, you should be able to have KPIs that show its worth, right? How would they do that with uh, Nest Publications? The, the only way to really do that would be to gauge um, how involved your readers are, because, you know, with mm -hmm. um, with paper products and paper marketing, unless they come right out and say, we saw your ad here, you really don't know you know, if you're getting a bang for your buck there or not. But I can say that with our with our product, and the agents that we represent right now, that the average open rate for real estate email is 19.17%. And our average is 42% wow. across all of the agents that we represent. The average click rate, and this is taken from MailChimp by, by industry, the average click rate for real estate emails is 1.77. And ours is 20 3%. So people are engaged in the content, they are clicking through. And I think that's a really good indicator of getting a bang for your buck, because you're getting out there, people are interested in it. And then whether they use you or not, who knows, but for sure, they'll tell somebody else about you and probably forward the publication, which is another great thing about digital is that it's so easy to forward. Yeah, no, those are really good click through and open rates. I mean, that's, that's astonishing, because I mean, I know we, we do some amount of digital marketing ourselves, mainly in touch with new potential clients, realtors, as you mentioned, but it's kind of our own product, right? It's not really right. the degree of sophistication that you do at Nest and we never get those kind of numbers. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's really, that's really, really good. Nikki, I always like my guests to tell a story about themselves. I prepped you on this one ahead of time. And I just think it adds kind of a personal touch. So we get to know a little bit more about you. You know, you've told us a little bit, like you live in the, you know, you're in the Washington state area. You have a story you'd like to share today? Sure. So this is a story that's kind of, it's kind of a while in the making and it sort of shaped me. Um, my mom was a big inspiration to me and she got divorced when I was 12 and my sister and I mostly lived with her. Um, my grandfather, she, my mom was a secretary. My grandfather was a developer in the city that I grew up in. So we were able to live in houses that my mom couldn't afford to buy. So we lived in fairly affluent areas. And my mom as a single mom would do everything. She'd mow the lawn, she'd shovel the snow, where other dads were usually tasked with those chores. My mom was out there doing it. And I didn't it was just kind of how I grew up. When I was 19, I moved to Los Angeles with used furniture that we had painted. My mom and I moved everything out there and I was able to live in a pretty nice area. And when I got there three days before the Rodney King riots, as it were, oh my gosh. <laughs> this little girl from Utah, um, when I arrived, we had a truck full of belongings and I saw all these moving people, moving other people's belongings in. And I was just deflated. I was like, I can't believe we have to move all this stuff in. So one of the last items on the truck 
was a, a mattress. And mattresses are really, really hard to move. They're flimsy and awkward. And I just started complaining right away. I just, I was just bemoaning the fact that we couldn't have movers move it in. And my mom looked at me and she said, pick it up. Nobody else is going to do it. We got to do this. Let's go. And she was so stern and so adamant about it. And I, I looked around and I thought, nobody else is going to do it. I, I suck it up and let's get going. So that really stayed with me in that nobody's going to do it for you. Pick it up and do it yourself. And I hope now that my daughter, and I'm a single mom, that my daughter now sees me mowing the lawn, shoveling the snow with all the other dads in the neighborhood or when people hire it out, it's me out there doing it. And I hope that that provides her some inspiration and, and gumption to just, you got to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. That's a very cool story and inspiring one too, hopefully for it not is. only your daughter, but maybe the people at your company. Like, like, are you um, the type who rolls up their sleeves and, you know, jumps into stuff at the company too? I'll tell you, nobody else um, in my company does any marketing. And since I've been there, I, I've grown 30 to 47% year over year since I've been there. And I attribute a lot of that to this magazine, which mm -hmm. of course I founded. So I think it does seep into other areas of your life, just that nobody's going to do it for you. That's a really good message for our property management listeners too, or even our landlords that are, that are do-it-yourselfers. You know, sometimes when you spot something inside the company, I know I have this at North County Property Group, I'll spot something in the company and I'll be thinking, you know, why are we still doing it that way? Mm -hmm. You know, and people are just kind of plugging along, doing their job. Well, that's because that's how you taught me to, you know, five years ago or something like that. And so it's exactly. kind of like, just always reminds me that, my God, I still need to this day to really, really watch and pay attention because sometimes... I'm the only one who can spot things and I'm sometimes the only one who can really fix it, you know? So, yes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was a great story and a great episode too. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. I'd love to continue. We could probably talk about this stuff all day long. I'm a former chief marketing officer oh, from are. Silicon Valley. Yeah. So oh, I love fun. this kind of stuff. Anyway, any last words or things you'd like to say about digital marketing, about Nest Publications, about how property managers can take advantage of this? What do you, what would you like to wrap up with? I would say if you are still stuck in paper products and pens and calendars or heaven forbid you're taking around poinsettias at Christmas time door to door, I would just say that the digital marketing space has changed so much in six years and you can really, really cast a wide net with, with very few products. So view this magazine as a multi-prong approach to marketing and, and let us do the heavy lifting for you um, and get out there and, and show yourself in a unique light that maybe other property managers aren't. And then, you know, like my mom says, nobody's going to do it for you. That's awesome. Really good advice. Okay. And how would they get in touch with Nest Publications if they wanted to learn more? Sure. So they could send an email at info or info at Nest Publications, and it's plural with an S at the end, dot com. Our website is nestpublications.com, and I can send back a Calendly link, and then I'm happy to, to set up a 15, 20-minute phone call and take people through the product and show them how I use the product and how other agents use the product as well to give them sort of a kickstart. Also, for NARPM members, don't forget there's a discount here, yes. and there is a link on the NARPM affiliate page where these discounts, and I'll put that in the episode episode notes so people can find it. That'll be great. Thank you. Hey, Nikki, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Really great episode. And as we wrap up today, I'd like to make another quick plug to our listeners to click on the subscribe button and give us a like. Also pay it forward with a positive review to help encourage more great guests like Nikki to come on our show. And that concludes today's episode. Thank you for joining the Property Management Brainstorm Show. Until next time, we'll be in the field working hard for our clients to maximize their rental income and maintain top tenant relations. And we'll catch you next time.